Master Cho, you've just attended the first World Taekwondo Championships in England. What was your opinion of how it went? I think uh, first ever and uh, first any events as big as this, if mm -hmm. you make it first, uh, there is a few difficulties. Mm -hmm. We can see that, but I think generally we are very nicely. We noticed that they're doing the two two minute sessions now. Yes. We noticed this is really taking it out of the fighters. When given to the, that type of the uh, require for the uh, dedication with the mm -hmm. training, you order to do a three minute round fight or a two minute round, two round or even three round. You need a preparation, special training for the extra time to put it in. You can just uh, come out there, perform normally your training. That's why in America is a one point system is very popular. You don't have to be put the extra time in the training because mm -hmm. One point after you stop the match, therefore you don't need to really condition yourself. Soon as under pressure, you have to be continuously fighting and the two minute and two round is a lot of pressure. The breaking techniques are very um, important, aren't they? You, they're, they're quite dynamic and... Uh... I believe it's a certain different way of thinking is breaking, okay? Mm -hmm. Many people as try to fake in it type things like a stack of the breaking mm -hmm. like a three, four, maybe five, ten blocks and coming up the up to the day head level. Yes. And sometimes they yelling and they breaking an ice break type things. All that is just uh, tricking the part of the mm -hmm. spectator. There's no such human person can do a certain things unbelievable feat is doing it. That's only just like magics. That's yeah. not what yeah. we show sure. sure. yeah. But that is the spectator praise or people don't understand. They think, wow, that guy have a lot of power. But I look at it as a breaking as that's a part of the, you be developing some confidence. You never start with your training, then your hands are very soft or you can't focus to one area to generate a certain power to be penetrated. When you're training long enough, you can see that that focus to going and hit a certain target, it will break in it. Then, that give you unconsciously, you will able to gain some kind of the confidence. Mm -hmm. Wow, I never thought I can do that. You know, some lady coming, and then they start training, they physically get stronger. Certainly they crack some balls or bricks. Wow, I never thought that I can do that. Then they certainly say, wow, I could do that. You know, that's very typical that you can have just a small piece of the wood there and you go in there, hit the right target with your leg or spins or like that. That's not that simple, you know, that's yeah. why that's part of the motivation for the people who are training. And then they don't have to be thinking how many piece of the ball or how many piece of the bricks I can break. There are thousands of different kind of grain that ball and the thickness, mm -hmm. how hard, even thin balls are sometimes very hard, depending on how dry or how did it. All that is not matter of the how you break and how many is. The yeah. thing is that techniques are really what we're training at the school, mm -hmm. that we're working, and in case of maybe my sparring time, I can able to emphasize. Mm -hmm. And that's the techniques I thought that breaking's gonna be. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a kind of nice to high jumping kicks or all kind of different technique. It's uh, developing part of the coordinations, mm -hmm. but I don't think that is very practically when you're fighting in street or yeah. fighting in tournament, nobody have to be jump up the eight, feet jumping the breaking the ball type way that kicking. But that part of the training, that's mm -hmm. why I say already, don't as thinking as Taekwondo or any martial art for the, just for the fighting purpose. Mm -hmm. If you're always thinking and fighting, fighting, then you can see any other side of the pot. Mm -hmm. Do you find more of your time now is spent with traveling and teaching? And I have a lot of opportunity to go to different country or do seminars and demos, all that. But a lot of pressure, you know, mm -hmm. as uh, I'm reaching the 50s, mm -hmm. and it's not as easy as it used to be. You know, and then still people expect me to do a lot of unbelievable things, what they see, what they see in mm -hmm. my books, all that. Uh, 
because you're getting older, you're not getting better, actually you're getting decreasing. That's mm -hmm. what I mean by just physical level. Yeah. I think I'm much more complete person than mm -hmm. and I used to be. Used to be when I was young, I'm very cocky person. Yeah. I thought I'm the better than anybody else, then I don't respect that much for anybody. Always big mouth and very uh, high temperamental. And that's why even I was in the master title that time, even I was young still. Mm -hmm. And I went to America too. I like to prove something to be compete and I did compete in many years. And I know exactly how fear and what expecting from the masters. Those days I the same way they expecting two masters do something or yeah. I don't agree with the people who say master not competing. I don't like that idea. Mm -hmm. But I can understand now as a move the experience in life and move the understanding of the human strength. And that's why I be right now much more knowledgeable as a master of the teaching or understanding of the people than and they used to be. Yeah. Yes. What would you like to do in the future in martial arts? Future as a martial artist, uh, I'm going to be built up in the big complex in the Florida someplace. And then people can come over to training their stay room and board then facilities going to be totally sport complex to they can do improving not only just uh, do taekwondo and the generally all the way lifting facility more modern more scientific approach and more of the philosophy parts more of the business aspects more of the complete type of way that can be martial artist can be a little bit more better living standard or if they would choose to be a profession of the martial art, then that's what I want to do, help the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, then right now I'm writing, actually, everybody think I'm very greedy. Already I've been publishing six books, over 32 titles of the video cassette for the last two years. I'm just uh, almost a 90% finished. Mm -hmm. Five more books come out the uh, early part of the next year or late part of this year. Look forward to those. Master Chair, thank you very much for talking Oh, thank you very much for inviting me in here.